Inside the shadow of Geneva, under the world's floor, lies a shock of human creativity and an ordinary harbinger of obliteration. The Monster Hadron Collider. It is a manual of shrewd assessment, allowing investigators to analyze the subatomic for the most part and affecting the exposure of the confusing god molecule. A hulking fact, right now at this point, esteemed physicist Brian Cox has, as of past due, made a chilling statement that sent floods of wonder about some stage in the philosophical region. Something concerning this has been investigated at CERN, something that could have achieved expansive ways beyond our cognizance. Has our fundamental goal for instructive grouping put us on a path that could lead us to calamity, obliging us as we dive into the pit of this unmistakable issue? Yet, sooner than we jump into the affirmation, how about we investigate what sizable molecule gas pedals the gigantic Huge Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN? It is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets, and the field generally basic, and the most powerful molecule smasher. It remains at the peak of human logical accomplishment. The reality of the circumstance is solid to such an extent that it could outperform the genuine states of the universe's creation. Yet, should this development be planned to open the insider appraisals of the universe, should we stay aware of the way to something clearly more unmistakable, even disturbing? CERN, laid out in 1954, is one of the world's most significant and renowned examination organizations with 23 member states and a huge, wide gathering of experts. It is a center for joint exertion and advancement. The LHC is CERN's central undertaking. However, it is just one piece of an enormous organization of fuel pedals and spikes, designed not for motors or ponies, but for subatomic particles. It's a race toward existence itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light sending them on a distorted course that mirrors the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures one million times more blazing than the center of the sun. A gigantic array of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while surprising cooling frameworks protect the magnets at temperatures colder than space. These include 1,232 dipole magnets, which steer the beams, and 392 quadrupole magnets, which center the pillars. Not long before impact, another unmistakable kind of magnet is utilized to press the particles together to increase the chance of effects. The task of CERN is to crash particles, like wrapping two needles six miles apart with such accuracy that they meet. The accuracy required is staggering, and the movement unrivaled. The LHC's design is a wonder of engineering. It sets up concentric rings that are hidden 574 feet underground distant from the fields of radiation. The entire framework is cooled to a temperature of minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, chillier than the vacuum of space itself. This cool climate is fundamental for the superconducting magnets to work. The support focuses in the LHC are made to crash at four areas across the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the areas of four molecule detectors, MapBook, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a special purpose in investigating exceptional bits of molecule material science. Collectively, they house epic cameras that record the effects, and experts analyze the information, searching for indications of the tricky Higgs boson, proposed as the god molecule, a principal sign to the universe's major structure. It's like taking a gander at an endless jigsaw puzzle, one in which the pieces are dull and the picture is hard to grasp. By zeroing in on the microcosm, we gain bits of insight into the universe. However, with every disclosure comes another inquiry, and with every disclosure, another check. The LHC isn't simply a technical instrument. It's an indication of human desire, advancement, and development. It exemplifies our persistent quest for information and our longing to grasp the crucial powers that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we know, we must likewise think about the moral and existential inquiries that arise. What are the dangers of checking the obscure out? Should our quest for knowledge, out of the blue, release powers beyond our control? Inside the consecrated corridors of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are persistently tested, a late revelation has sent chills down the spine of even the most prepared researchers. Brian Cox a former scientist at CERN and a leading voice in the field of molecule physical science, has as of late made a. The proclamation has left the local area both fascinated and concerned. 
Cox's words resounded with an agitating chance. The objective of CERN's Huge Hadron Collider is to reproduce a minuscule huge explosion, a scaled-down form of the very event that birthed our universe. The physicists too recognized the possible results of this objective, featuring the LHC's unprecedented ability to open the mysteries of the Higgs boson and test the secret of dark matter, a substance that makes up a critical piece of the universe. Envision being able to uncover the genuine pith of the universe. It's an astonishing open door, yet one laden with chances. The very concept of the Big Bang is a hypothetical thought in the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and energies copy those present at the birth of the universe. Maybe we are looking into the beginning of existence itself. Yet, with such power comes significant obligation, and the inquiries of limits and chance are consistent. Consider what happened to Russian physicist Anatoly Borsky in 1978. Borsky was working at the U.S. Synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia when an accident almost took his life. A light emission inadvertently infiltrated his skull, and despite the fact that he experienced extreme tissue damage, he stayed conscious and, surprisingly, walked for treatment. His experience, while upsetting, serves as a wake-up call that illustrates the gigantic power and potential risk of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC shouldn't be underrated. The potential for exceptional responses, the genuine design of truth being controlled, are not the stuff of science fiction. However, the concerns voiced by some in the scientific community, particularly about the creation of small black holes, are genuine. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is strong enough that even light can't escape. Some researchers worry that the LHC could create a black hole but on a small scale. Should such a black hole form, it could hypothetically consume the Earth from within. Anyway, researchers at CERN have assured that any black hole created would vanish rapidly and present no danger to our planet. Still, this far-off possibility has started discussions, fears, and a renewed awareness of the power we are managing. Understanding how the LHC works is critical to understanding its capability to make a black hole. When protons are crushed at almost the speed of light, the energy involved distorts the fabric of space-time itself. It's like bouncing on a trampoline and watching it twist and stretch. This can cause distortions in space-time, raising the question, what could occur if such distortions lead to the creation of a black hole? In the realm of quantum physics, where the universe's essential rules are strange and staggering, there exists a theory that larger, unknown components of our existence might be hidden within the fabric of space. If these components exist, the LHC could access them, perhaps creating a gravitational line that results in the formation of a black hole. This disturbing possibility has caught the attention of some very prominent researchers, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his book A Brief History of Time, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson may act unpredictably at extremely high energy levels. This anomaly could, in theory, cause a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay, which could not just destroy the Earth, but unravel the universe itself. Sir Martin Rees, an English cosmologist and astrophysicist, also recognized the potential risks of particle accelerator experiments. In his book Our Final Hour, he proposed that the tests conducted at CERN could lead to a disaster if they trigger vacuum instability, a theoretical event that could cause a seismic shift in the very structure of space-time. Rees forewarned that while the risks are low, the consequences of such an event would be catastrophic, with the potential to alter the entire universe. CERN researchers have fully acknowledged the potential dangers related to their experiments. They have implemented extensive safety protocols and measures to mitigate any possible risks. However, the nature of scientific exploration inherently involves some level of uncertainty, especially when venturing into an unknown area. The pursuit of knowledge has always been accompanied by a certain degree of risk. Nonetheless, it is this very capacity to push boundaries that has propelled humanity forward. The LHC represents the pinnacle of many years of scientific advancement, embodying our insatiable curiosity about the universe. Yet, the potential dangers posed by experiments at the LHC cannot be overlooked. While the likelihood of catastrophic events may be low, the consequences could be significant. It is therefore crucial for scientists, policymakers, 
and the general public to engage in open discussions about the moral and existential implications of such research. All in all, the Hadron Collider at CERN is a wonder of human ingenuity and scientific achievement. It offers unimaginable insights into the fundamental nature of the universe. Yet, with enormous power comes enormous responsibility, and it is essential that we approach this momentous exploration with caution. As we continue to unlock the universe's secrets, we must remain mindful of the potential risks involved, ensuring that our quest for knowledge doesn't come at the expense of our well-being and prosperity. The Hadron Collider at CERN stands as a testament to humanity's relentless quest for understanding, but beneath its remarkable exterior lies an area of profound scientific inquiry, full of potential outcomes and ethical considerations.